What's going on? My name is Karen Campbell and on this channel I teach you how to draw. It's as simple as that and I make it as easy as possible. Today I'm showing you how to draw in five minutes a very fun, fab, whimsical face. I have a guideline sheet to help you get started. I want you to pick up any old yellow school pencil that you have laying around your sketchbook or a piece of printer paper. I'm going to be drawing on cardstock and let's Go draw, I'm gonna teach you exactly how to do it. It's so easy, let's go. Here's our guideline sheet. Let me know in the comment section below if you would like a copy. It tells you exactly where the features go and the rest will be up for you to follow me. So let's just start by drawing an oval. Now no one got worse with more practice, so you gotta draw with me, all right? All right, here's my oval. Notice I'm doing it a million times, okay? That's called muscle memory. And the reason I can do it a million times and they all look the same is because I've practiced this a million times. So if you're new at this, your ovals might all be different. Don't worry about it. Do 50 if you need to. Eventually one will come out that looks better than the rest and we'll go with that one. Now we're gonna put our guidelines in. You're just gonna use your sheet to tell you exactly where to go. So this is a line down the center. Then we're gonna have a line. This is the eye line. This is actually in the middle, okay? And this says right here, eye line is exactly halfway. So we're gonna do a line just like that. Then we're gonna have a nose line. It's everything is on the sheet. Halfway between the eyes and the chin. Mouth line, halfway between the nose and the chin. Boom, already done. Okay, let's pop a neck in here. Neck goes about, about the mouth line. I like to kind of curve my neck sometimes actually. It looks fancier. A little broke neck, my friend Jenny Mano likes to say. Whatever, neck, okay? Now we can kind of like fine tune this a little bit. I'm gonna come in right here. See on the sides? I'm just gonna come in a little bit. Don't even need that for right now. Okay, and then here's my chin at the bottom. So I'm gonna connect this line right here. Uh, you better be drawing with me right now. I'll be very offended if you're not drawing. Right here, okay? Looks like a little slope. A straight line would be like this. This is just a little bend. Little bend -a rooney okay? All right, now what? Eyes, eyes are in the middle. Look at, there's three across. I'm not asking questions, I'm just drawing. Three across, all right, so that's what the sheet says. That's what I'm gonna do. One, two, three, now what? We got a nose. Here's my nose. I'm just gonna put a little circle in there for right now. How about the mouth? Yeah, we're just gonna do a little squish circle to get us started. Welcome to the alien stage. Let's keep trying. Our ears go actually between the mouth, I'm sorry, the eyes and the nose. I'll just drop like a little ear shape in there. It's like a letter C. Let's pop another one in over here just for, just for kicks. All right, she's looking pretty alien-esque. Let's keep going. Now we have to like fine tune things a little bit. This is where it gets super fun. So here we have, we're just gonna put a put a dot on either side. A great way to get eye symmetry is to build them up at the same time. So we're gonna do a straight line right here. And we're gonna do a straight line over here. You with me? You got it? We got this. All right, now we're gonna go, we're gonna hit the top of this oval and follow that curve around. And then we're gonna scooch over to this eye and do this side. No problemo. Now listen, this isn't super highly realistic. The proportions for a super realistic face are slightly different. I'm not really into hyperrealism. Kind of kills the fun for me. So I like these whimsical faces a little bit better. So that's what we're sketching today. We're gonna come up a little bit and then we're gonna follow the bottom of that eye line till we meet that side. And we're gonna scoot over here and do this side. All right, done. Now let's do some eyelids. I like big, like dramatic eyelids. So I'm gonna do big circle. You just do a semicircle from one end to the other, okay? No problem, we got this. Eyebrows are the same exact width as the eyes. They just kick up in the air a little bit. So, oh, these can be really fun. Let's do, oh, I can do so many things. Let's do like a, we'll kick this way up here. She's gonna have some tood. People always get mad about dead face girls. That's because nobody's moving their eyebrows around. All right, so this one's, we're gonna come down like this a little bit. Ooh, she's sassy. All right, we're gonna do, we're gonna do full circles and I'm gonna put the bottom of the circle on the bottom lid like this. Okay, if you need to trace something to get a perf perfect circle, you go. Don't even worry about it, trace, trace away. I'm all about the muscle memory at this time. All right, we're gonna do two more balls. 
So this is like a mash over in the middle on two circles. So to get a nose going from this, I'm gonna just darken this little area right here. All right, and then look at this. We're gonna throw some parentheses in here. Parenthesis one, parenthesis two, and I'm just gonna add a little ball, moving the ball up in the nose like right there. Now we're gonna do two lines like this. Okay, and then they are going to come and meet the letter M. Okay, it's a little above that oval. I'm over it. Nobody's perfect. Okay, and we're gonna join up these ends like this. Okay, and then we are gonna do like a, we're just gonna join, join up these ends right here. We can have a large lip or a thin lip. It literally does not matter. Okay. And then we scroll back. All right, now I said face in a five minutes and I have exactly accomplished that it's five minutes, but I wanna not leave her bald, so let's give her a little hair first. Everybody struggles with hair. With hair. I will be covering this a lot in this channel in the upcoming weeks, don't worry. First thing you gotta do is you gotta pick a point. All right, so five minutes for the face, we're gonna do a few minutes up for hair. First, you need to pick a point on your girl. Somewhere on the head, like a normal part would be. We wouldn't have it way over here, right? So it's kind of up top somewhere. All right, now this is super important. You need to come into this circle. You gotta, you gotta not worry about coming in and, and getting some hair in here, okay? So let's give her some bangs today. I haven't done a girl with bangs. Well, like side swept bangs. Okay, and do you see how I originated from this dot? Okay, I'm gonna just do a few sweeps like this. Now, this is super important. You need to come up and over. Hair is super huge. So wherever your top oval was, you need to go over that. Okay, and I'm just sketching, sketching, um, yeah, just sketching right now. It's not over complicate things. Maybe she'll have like a bun on this side. Okay, now we gotta go over this side. Well, this has volume too. It doesn't wanna be flat on one side, so we gotta come above and over. It's gonna come around the ear. Maybe she's got like, maybe she's a little matching bun nuggets. <laughs> Don't know what a bun nugget is, but evidently that's her hair. All right, look at this. Now we just take one second to, I'm gonna erase all your guidelines here. Ooh, she's a little sassy. I'm not sure what monster we've just created. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is, we gotta give her some pupils. That would be nice. She can see a little bit. Okay. And I'm just kind of like scrumbling in, scrumbling in, totally, totally word, I think. Okay. And last but not least, I'm gonna put her eyelashes on next week because that kind of goes along with like the shading. I'm gonna make a photocopy of her so for next week, you can grab her and shade with me. And, and by next week, I mean Wednesday. So make sure you subscribe right now so you can find your way back to this because we're gonna shade her beautifully on Wednesday or I don't know what day of the week that is. You might be watching this, but please subscribe so you can find your way back and we're gonna do the shading version of this beautiful girl that we just drew. I will see you on Wednesday and we will finish her up and put on her eyelashes. I cannot wait.